Hi there. I uh, just got just got back from vacation, and waiting for me was a new order from Sassy Girls, Sassy Girl Aroma, and I have not opened any. I did sneak peek one sniff of this one, but I've not smelled any of this. So this will be a quick, hopefully a quick video of uh, just me telling you what I got, my haul, and uh, giving you the names of it. So this was a pre-order I did I think it was December 2nd through December 11th so it was early December and it arrived while I was on vacation so happy to share my haul with you so stick around okay I got my glasses and hopefully hopefully I don't need them but you never know sometimes I try to read labels and <laughs> I can't um, so just cleaning them up a little bit, so let's get started. So we have um, lavender cookies. So this is, yeah, sweet lavender, vanilla, and sugar cookies. And there was no way I was going to read the scent notes on that, so I'm glad I put my glasses on. Um, this, these are so cute. They just look like little little cereal bowls. Um, and yeah, so sweet lavender, vanilla, and sugar cookies. Mm-hmm. Yep, this smells so good. That smells like I get a little lavender, I get the vanilla and the cookie. So yes, I am so excited. Okay, I also got, um, let's just do the little sample since they're right here, Penthouse. So I got a sample of Penthouse and mm, this is perfumey. I don't know what the notes are on this. I will put the notes down here. Yeah, it smells good though, but it's uh, it's uh, perfumey. That is a perfumey scent. And seasons change to be jolly. Uh, seasons change to be jolly. I'm assuming this is a Christmassy scent. Ooh, what am I getting? I was thinking it was going to be like a tree scent, but it's not. It's like a, I'll look it up. I can't really distinguish what it is, but it's like a fruit, some kind of a fruit. I don't think it's cranberry. Maybe it's plum or like, but that's good. Okay. Can't wait. All right. Now I got some boxes or uh, bags. So it's the first time getting bags. So this one is... Sweet Nights, it's Sweet Lavender and Beach Night. Um, and I did actually, let's see if I can put that open. Ooh. Oh, this smells nice. Oh, and I gotta show you these colors. This is like my favorite color. This is like my little signature color. It's like a teal. And then there's white ones and purple ones. Oh, this is so pretty. Ooh. I'm starting to know what beach night smells like. This smells really good. Sweet lavender and beach nights. Oh, this is good. Okay. I'm so excited. All right. Then we have Abel's Mint Cookies. And this is sugar cookies with a creamy peppermint and vanilla with a strong down of bittersweet chocolate baked to perfection. I think I had heard people talking about this one and I decided to order it. Mmm, this does. It smells like minty chocolate. Oh, this is so good. This, this is so good. Yeah, it's like, the, you know, those Andes or like Thin Mints, you know, the Girl Scouts Thin Mints. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is so yummy. Okay, I am loving this. All right, so now we've got, looks like maybe eight or nine of these. Are these called brittle bars or snap bars? They all, all the vendors kind of have a, a slightly different name. I think these are snap bars. Um, oopsie here, get them. They're nicely wrapped and I will say, um, all came fairly quickly after much quicker than the last haul I had. I think that one I felt like I had to wait like six weeks or something and 
well, I guess it's the same. I don't know. But between early November and like very end of December seemed like a long time. So it was a little earlier because we're not quite at the end of January. But um, this one is called Look Into the Stars. This is Starflower Sugared Tangelo Champagne Sandalwood Musk Lily Amber and White Argerwood. And I believe, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that Arger, Argerwood is Oud. I think it's also called Oud. Um, O-U-D. Let's see. This one, well, you know what? I will, it is a little cracked. That's fine. They snap off. Oh, this smells good. Okay. This is, I get a little champagne musk. Some amber. This is really nice. Given all of the um, notes in here, it's a little sweet. So that sugar, tangelo, which is um, like a little orange, right? It's like a little mini, kind of like a mini citrus. I don't get too much of a citrus scent, but this smells really, really nice. I smell the sandalwood and the musk and the lily and the amber. I'm not sure what star flower smells like. And there's some sugar. So this is really good. So that's Look Into the Stars. All right, I will. And um, again, just, I know you can't see it with the label, but pretty, pretty kind of purple, yellow and black. This one is Good Morning Sunshine, and this is Crisp Linen Accord White Orchid and Apple Blossom combined to evoke the nostalgic memory of linen sheets dried by sunshine and fresh air. Good morning, sunshine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is, ooh, this is really nice. This is, <laughs> that's it breaks off. Um, look at that. That is just really pretty, beautiful colors. I get a little bit of, I definitely get a, a little laundry scent, so that's that linen, but apple blossom, I do get that. But it's not too laundry-ish. This is actually really pretty. So it's got some fresh air. This is really, really pretty. It's not ultra laundry-ish, but it's got a hint of it there. And it's just fresh and a fresh, like outdoors, but not woodsy. This is really good. Um, great description. So I think it's the white orchid and the apple blossom I'm picking up on. And then, um, I don't know what the sunshine note is, but that's really pretty. Okay, these are all a little cracked, but that's okay. They're all gonna snap off eventually. Um, then I got wax all over me. <laughs> then I've got favorite holiday, and this is citrus blend of grapefruit, orange, lemon, mandarin, eucalyptus, fir needle, fresh pine, cinnamon stick and cloves, pomegranate, vanilla, and fresh cut cedar. So this is definitely more of a, I think, a wintry scent. Um, so this one I'm going to hold on to until I might melt a, a few, see if I like it for sure, but I'll probably hold on to most of this until, ooh, next winter. Mm, that's good. That is, um, I definitely get the woodsy tree notes, but I'm getting a citrusy. So I definitely get the citrus and the grape. So there's a lot of citrus in here. There's the grapefruit and orange and lemon and mandarin, but it smells really nice mixed with a, a touch of eucalyptus. I get a little bit of the fir tree note, but mostly citrus. Um, the grapefruit is there and the lemon is there. And I pick up on a touch of cinnamon and a little bit of vanilla. So this is really good. I like this. It's a nice blend, so it's not ultra woodsy. I'd say it's actually a little more leaning citrusy, but not just orange. This is a really nice blend and beautiful colors. Okay. Now, this is my second order of uh, Sassy Girl Aroma. I have not tried her before. Um, so I'm excited to, to see how they melt or, and warm. Um, so this one is called Schnockered. <laughs> and this is eggnog, vanilla bourbon, buttercream, and spiced nutmeg. 
And I'm gonna, um, I'll just break off of, well, it's already a little cracked here. Mmm, this is nice. This is, oh, this is so good. I definitely get that buttered, the bourbon, like a buttercream and vanilla burb. Oh, this is really good. Eggnog. There's a vanilla. Oh, there is that spiced. Oh, this is really good. I mean, so far they've all been really good, but this one's like calling my name. It's sweet. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. I actually filmed my first haul before I went on vacation, so I don't remember what they smell like. I remember liking those as well, but I think I'm loving these right now. Um, pistachio Disneyland. So this is pistachio, cotton candy, strawberry, pineapple, creamsicle, lemon, and whipped cream. Did I get this one last time? I know. I think the other one I got was called going to Disneyland. Um, cause I think that had like pineapple and some other stuff, but this is similar. No, mm -hmm. no, I think the other one was called going to Disneyland. I'll look it up and leave a note. Um, but this is cotton candy, strawberry, but the, the notes sound similar. So that's why I'm wondering if maybe I got two of them. Maybe I did, but, um, I love pistachio mm, and I got the pistachio. That's so good. Cotton candy. I get the creamsicle, a touch of strawberry, and pineapple. Oh, this is so good. This is like mouth-watering. This is very refreshing. Oh, this is good. That pistachio is really nice. I don't, yeah, now I'm, you know what, I'm going to go look. So I'm going to pause really quick. I am going to run and see if this is the same one. I want to say the other one was called Going to Disneyland. Um, and this one's pistachio Disneyland. So let me check. Okay. I am back. And yes, I was correct. The, the one I got at the, at my last haul is going to Disneyland. Um, and so that's the one I got last time. This one is pistachio Disneyland. And I think the difference between the two is the pistachio Disneyland has pistachio. Um, and it also has strawberry. No, so does this one. What's the difference? Mm -hmm. I think the only difference is that the pistachio Disneyland smells like going to Disneyland, but it has pistachio in it. And that's the only thing. Yeah, that's the only difference between the two. The coloring is very similar. I loved the, <laughs> I loved the going to Disneyland and I love pistachio Disneyland even more uh, just because of that pistachio note. It is really good. Ooh, that's good. So, all right. It was going to bug me if I didn't go look. <laughs> so there we go. Um, then we have All Snuggled Up, and this is Crisp Air Clove Birch Thyme Birch, yeah, sorry. Crisp Air Clove Birch Thyme Warm Woods and Musk. So All Snuggled Up. Uh, and this one. So another pretty one. Let's see. Mm. So this is like a purple or a lavender creamy color. Um, a little blue in there. This one I get um, that crisp air. This one's lighter than the other ones. I get a little bit of thyme, a little bit of birch, and musk and, and crisp air. I would say it's on the lighter side, although something's now peeking through here. Let's see. I think it's the thyme and the woods. So this is also very nice. So, all right. No duds in the first group. So last grouping here. Um, I'll open up. want them to drop so they're okay so these are I think these are a little more for later in the season I think I wanted to keep some of these uh, to warm 
for next season. So this one is called Black Cat, and this is Blackberry Cider Lane Marshmallow Fireside. Uh, and that is Black Cat. Uh, okay, so I think this was obviously like a Halloween kind of scent. Mm. It's got that, it's got like a, the blackberry cider and I get a sweetness which must be from the marshmallow. I don't get, mm, I get a hint of fireside. There is a hint of smokiness. That blackberry is really nice. This is a nice blend too. Ooh, I'm gonna love this. The more I smell it, the more I'm like, oh, this smells good. Okay, this is really nice. So that is Black Cat. And I will put that aside. Then we have Coin Wash. And this is Fresh Aired Laundry and Amber. Um, so that's Coin Washed. And I do like laundry scents, so no surprise there. Okay, this one. They all came a little cracked, but that's okay. Yeah, this smells like kind of like a laundromat, you know, the, <laughs> the, the soap bubbles, but it's got, it's probably the amber that gives it a little bit of a, a touch of a perfumey note. The laundry scent isn't too sharp or like in your face. I mean, it's there for sure. You can definitely smell it, but it's a little, I think the amber tones that down a little bit. And so, yeah, this is good. So this one's all cracked. Well, maybe not, just one piece of it. I just think they're so pretty, so I gotta show you. Um, just love, love the colors. Oh, I am really looking forward to warming them. I just, you know, was on vacation and haven't had a lot of time to warm different scents after bring back my bar was like that was a lot <laughs> and I want to enjoy these so I don't want to just take them out like and use them for one day so uh, this next one is Christmas at Santa's and this is pepperberry wreath sugar cookies and marshmallow fireside so that's um, Christmas at Santa's and Mm-hmm. This is good. I'm so excited in a lot of these, these kind of a couple of these. Yeah. So I have like Black Cat and I think there's another Christmassy one that I'm looking forward to keeping for the winter time. I wasn't sure what pepperberry smells like, but this is nice. I get the marshmallow sugar cookie, a little bit of that fireside. This is also really good. It does kind of, it reminds me of a, a really pretty winter scent. So I will, I mean, we're still in winter. Um, I think the sugar cookies and, and something about this wreath make, remind me of Christmas, like a Christmas cookie kind of thing. So um, I will warm maybe uh, in my small warmer and, and see what I like. But most of that, I think I'm gonna save for, um, for the holidays. Then last but not least, I believe, yes, last but not least is Big Shave, Cotton Candy, Beach Night, and Shaving Cream. I heard her Beach Nights are great. Um, I have now a few bars that have Beach Night in it, and I really do enjoy it. Uh, and I wasn't sure about Big Shave because, you know, it's maybe going to be more manly smelling, but uh, it looked sounded good, Cotton Candy, Beach Nights, and Shaving Cream. I need a bigger piece than that. This is nice. Um, it's actually not manly at all. I thought with Big Shave, it might be a little cologne -y. You know what, I'm gonna snap off a piece myself. It's kind of light though. I'm not getting a strong scent, but it's pretty. So it's cotton candy, beach nights. I just, shaving cream, I guess I wasn't sure what that would be like. But I get the cotton candy. I definitely get the cotton candy and the beach nights. So it's beautiful. So I would say if you were concerned that the big shave uh, or the shaving cream note was going to be very manly, it's not. It's kind of a sweet 
but like a sugar, it's the cotton candy sweetness, like the sugar. It's not like a bakery sweet, but like sugar. Mm. Okay, that's good. It is on the lighter side um, than the other ones I've smelled. That is all I've got for this haul. I am happy. I love all of it. I think in my last haul, there was one or two that was just like, I liked it, but I didn't, I mean, I love all of these. I'm so, so happy. Um, I, I do need to put a pause on buying any more Sassy Girl just because I've warmed any um, at all from my last haul. So I just need to kind of slow my, slow my roll here with vendor wax, but I am so happy with that. So thank you so much. And I have a video coming right here. If you missed my first haul, you can just go straight there if you want to see that. And then if you want to see other vendor hauls, I'll put uh, at the end of the, uh, a, a video you can uh, playlist you can click on. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any other favorites, even though I said I'm going to be on a low buy, I'm writing these down so I know that uh, in the future if they come up, um, I, I know what is good or what is liked. And if we have similar tastes, that would be great. So thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed my content or any of the videos you've seen, uh, or if you've seen me a few times and, and have enjoyed what I have, uh, please consider subscribing. It is free and it really helps me out and helps other people find my channel. So I appreciate it so, so much. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.